We have set up another ego hell, not elo hell, ego hell. This is a 1700 MMR, it's a 2K MMR lobby. The absolute worst is his name. He is on the blue team in this lobby. He is our uh, ADC gamer. He says he should be low masters diamond. I'm to the last guy, but this is, he's a little bit higher MMR, I guess. He's 1742 MMR with a 52% win rate. Maybe he's the one. His stats were pretty good. His game and match history wasn't bad by any means. We'll see what he's got. So we told them ELO hell and then we put him in ego hell. And that's where the, the twist is. Oh my gosh, red team's comp is disgusting. He's picking Janice in a Susano? Yeah. This Janice dies 10 times if he picks this. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Bespoke Post, a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods under the radar brands every month. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month they introduce new stuff. They've got hunting gear, outdoor gear, kitchen goods, clothing, all kinds of stuff. You fill out a quiz and you go through and you pick your preferences and then they send you a box that you'll, you know, fit your preferences. If you don't like that box, you can go in and preview it before it comes to you. You can skip it, pick a different box, whatever you want to do i just couldn't believe how accurate this was to stuff that i needed but i would never buy so the first box they sent me that i opened came with <laughs> just like it's like the perfect stuff so this is the survival 101 kit comes with reties so zip ties you can reuse going right in the truck and i'm going to use it. a knife that i need because i need a knife down here i don't have anything to open anything up we got a camp carabiner gonna go right in the truck and then we have this is like the best thing in the whole box man a vc every box of awesome has around 70 dollars worth of goods inside but costs you only a fraction of the value i go to my nephew's football games all the time sit on metal bleachers and i hate it like i after like 10 minutes it's just pain and suffering i'm using this all the time now all this stuff except for the the knife is gonna go sit in my truck and it's gonna use more than i would have ever thought to just buy it and use you know get it myself now bespoke post has me up they sent me another one this is the retreat box this other one came with Two things so this is a reusable high heavy duty pillow that you can kind of just like inflate and you know it's a travel pillow you can you can reuse it take it wherever you want this is also the retreat package kit big thing for me here came with a heavy duty rope shows you how to tie some some knots and stuff which is dope i never have ropes to tie specific things down in my truck so literally both of these boxes all this stuff i'm gonna go take out and i'm gonna go sit in my truck and i'm gonna use it anytime i need to which is all the time uh, oddly enough sounds weird for a gamer so bespokepost.com slash weekend 20 first box will be 20 percent off you can go ahead and fill out the quiz do your stuff figure out what's for you they have so much so much stuff on the website shout out to them thank you for the sponsor oh recipe check the recipes oh ganesh he's like me dude he ain't cooking supports not cooking feels bad wait is it rides in solo Oh, it is. Good call. That makes more sense. I just know P. Neath has punch because he wants the one shot off the ult. He's just adding damage to the ult. It's not a bad idea. I think party punch is, uh,. It's super underrated. Nah, don't be wrong. I think I, I'd probably rather have oh beads already. What? That was a level one beads against the Bacchus. We'll uh, we'll see how this plays out because that's not what you want to see. Would you stack punch by just walking around? You clear 10 camps too? If, if you're getting shield camp, it's not, not going to take that long. Backs, purple, shields. And then another shield. Assuming you're in control, obviously. They're not even autoing here. This is nuts. No way should a Bacchus need have any pressure on them right now. The Ganesh can just silence the belch every time. He doesn't. I don't know why he's dashing it. Just silence the belch, bud. Oh, he dead. Oh, good shell. The body locks. 
Why are we dashing the belch? Why are we not playing up? That's crazy. Can I stayed? I don't think he has a health pot taking either. So they, if he doesn't back after this wave, they're gonna lose purple. The Ganesh is not gonna reset and they are going to lose purple. Please, Ganesh, back to base. Please, what am I watching? Yeah, he didn't level a silence. I don't know why. That's crazy. Oh! Oh my goodness gracious. This team got first blood. Do a solo lane. Well, there goes shield buff. I'm trying to look at his party punch. He hasn't traveled far enough yet. <laughs> if he had traveled far enough before this, like if he had been running a little bit more, he'd have been in a good place to stack that party punch pretty quick. So UI potential is also signed up for Elo Hell. There's like three people who signed up. But Absolute Worst had a really good... Why did he just auto? Oh, he almost had a blue stone. Absolute Worst had a solid win rate and really good stats in his rank games as an ADC. UI potential, I was debating. Um, I don't know if I looked up King for, for Elo Hell. He almost died. Raijin got a solo kill. Raijin's OP, dude. All right, clear the wave, please. Please clear your wave. As an ADC, focus on farm. Please, 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 please go farm. Oh, it's so stressful watching carries just walk past farm like it's not there. Go oh, up, Bastions. Come on, Bastions. Ba Where are you going, bud? I'm rewarding. Okay, that's fine. So they're level five. They gotta clear the next wave before they fight. Oh my goodness. Late, no rollout either. Okay, no follow up, so that's good for him. Play up, what are you doing? You saw Neath run away, what are you worried about? What did he go in Rama? Okay, he did go Gooseberries. Jungler looking for a gank. Play up, you're gonna miss the creep, nice. Okay, he does have arrow. Lost me for a second, I saw the arrow proc and I was like, Neath doesn't have that, right? Shield buff gone. Shield buff stolen? No, 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 no. That's down for the other team. Oh, kill. Oh, he did he miss? He's gonna miss this. Oh, he hits it. I was wrong. He didn't show. Good stuff. Uh, he rolled underneath that box and missed his auto, by the way. His couple auto. I'm so glad he hit the second ult, the second ults, man. I was worried. I saw it going down real bad. Not lazy backing. Love to see it. What's up, Tori? Welcome to the stream. Whew. You saw it looked like he like took a breath. He missed the first ult and then it was like, <sighs> all right, you gotta hit these. He is stacking, right? I'm not, we're, we're not. Oh, he is not stacking yet. Yeah, you need to go get your items, my boy. 1400 golden ends, he's rich. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Okay. I'm gonna play ranked after this, it's late. It's 11 already. Get in like two or three ranked games after this.
He needs to regain control of this lane. Like right now, right now he should be regaining. He's worried about the gank, I guess. But if he's not, he should be controlling. That's a, the Neath didn't use anything to clear there. I haven't played against a buff Neath yet either. Bro, are you going to clear this? Goodness gracious, just eating that damage. Pick up the, nope, not picking up that either. Uh, he needs to get aggressive. He's telling me he's in elo hell, right? He's way better than the people in this lobby, but his teammates are holding him down. Right now, he's looking same skill as this Neath. Actually looking a little worse, to be honest. Because this Neath is doing whatever. Like, why are we checking purple? He has purple on him. You should win this 1v1. I... Okay. You're really making me doubt the idea of you being in Elo Hell if you can't fight this guy 1v1. Uh, good disengage. Good re-engage. Eating damage you shouldn't be eating them. Pop your... No wing shard? We're just not wing sharding? There it goes. Using it to move though, not to fight. That was a really late in that Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, this is not promising. Hello, sunshine. What do you think of the mitigation rates this season? Like the, the nerfs they did to them? Uh, I think they're fine because the 95% mitigations we were seeing go that's a roll in bro That's a fight and a half if you really think you're better than this guy If you're telling me you're better than these people you should be double this rank You are not afraid of fighting some other dude that's in gold or plat whatever this is plat Like this is crazy to me. He misses his one and you don't w key him Anyone confident in their play there is roll it now. Your oom, low health, your purple's up, your shield buff's up. I don't know what he's looking for now. Oh, it's because the gank is here. He's going to play aggro. Susano's here. This is going to be a death. He's Rama's going to die here. Rama's dead. So, Susano's slow. Good all from Rama. That Susano was just way too slow. But this Rama's still dead. Terrible positioning. Afraid to fight the 1v1. Is he who who I wonder who's oh red's pinging this I think Oh that's an early Silo That's a wasted Silo The Susano's almost dead Red got it still what and a kill what That's insane No shot they should have been able to secure that and get a kill Reacher, thank you for the five months sub, uh, man. Welcome back. The mitigation's ridiculous. Nah, ridiculous was what we saw before they nerfed it. Mitigations are annoying, but tanks die fast late game. Full build hunters, mages, and most assassins are just melting through tanks after 30 minutes. So I think people just complain because they don't know how to farm for 30 minutes and then they don't know what they're doing. Early game though, it is annoying when a tank can't die and just does more damage than you. Annihilate, annihil annihilate me, annihilate me, annihilate me. Am I reading that right? Thank you for that prime. I don't know if I thanked you. Appreciate you. People also don't know their damage and power spikes. They pay no attention to that stuff. What in the world? Please fight this guy at some point. Oh, are you dead? Goodness gracious, he's getting worked. Ult the Kumba to put him in passive. Okay, he hit those. That's good. Oh, he's dead. If I'm being brutally honest right now, this Neath is better than the Rama. And they're both, you know, the the, the Rama's saying he's Elo L. So I'm super confused. Normax going crazy on the Scylla mid. He's will not fight the Neath. I, I don't understand. It's a Neath. An out of position Neath multiple times with no abilities up. 
Normac is huge, I think. 303, level 12. Eh, he's not that big. He's only a little bit ahead, to be honest. Thought he'd be bigger. His, this jungler is really far behind, though. And this solo lane is super far behind. Playing Yorm still at this time of the year is crazy. Look at this Neath. You're getting... Oh, he's three levels up now. You couldn't fight him if your life depended on it. How's he doing on stacks? Did he ever finish? Okay, he did finish. The Neath has been egoing him the whole time. Like this, and the Neath's not playing crazy. It's not like a Smurf Neath. The Neath is missing his one. That Neath was on the tower line, missing his one on the Rama, and the Rama wouldn't roll in and fight him. The Rama would just stand there and watch. It was crazy. I hope he figures it out. <laughs> he isn't Elo L, he's too high up. That's mean. This lobby is 1700 MMR to 2K. He, this player we're watching is 1770 MMR and he believes he should be low masters, high diamond. So we put him in a game of his peers, not of people but better than him, not not of not, not like high rated that he thinks he should be in their lobby. He is in a lobby where he's of the people of his MMR. You know, this is him and his his peers, and he is struggling. That's a good, 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 good play for them to have right now between the jungle and him. He they both needed that farm and the free farm. Does he know that though? Um. I didn't explain that. Both times I've done this, I've just said I need a lobby like this and then throw them in there. So I'm my the first guy definitely didn't know. I was thinking maybe he would, but I don't think he knows. That or he just he's afraid. Rama paid actor. Bro, they need to pay me. I do feel like you can only judge an ADC in the late game. I mean, I don't fully judge anybody until I see the late game. Same thing happened with that Mercury. Mercury looked good, and then his whole late game, he's just getting railed and making terrible decisions. So you never know. You never know what you're going to get. This guy needs to learn that farming is important. His team can engage before him. His, dude, that Kwong is melted. He's about to get turned on. Didn't even roll out. You are in trouble, bud. Oh, alt, alt, real quick, oh, real quick, oh, real quick. Oh, buddy, alt. Ah, you're dead. Oh, you got it off. Okay, who are you shooting at here, dude? That still is a half health. The pre beads. He's dead. That Rama should have never been there in the first place. He should have been farming his wave, which was behind him under his purple. Uh, this is no world. No world. This is terrible decision making. He's not even gonna get to the late game at this point. He literally will not make it late game. Is that Neath up five levels? No, 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 two levels, two levels. All right. You're about to start playing ranked for the first time in years. What three gods should I play in the jungle role? Realistically, uh, the top jungle gods are Arachne, Pele, and I think Mercury, win rate rise. But if you're good at Susano, Susano is very good. Thanatos is very good. Thor is very good. Al Kuang is very good. Uh, Mammon is also OP, but most people have no idea how to play Mammon. Yeah, that Raijin's gigantic. I mean, you pick Yorm in this this climate, in this economy of Smite, you're picking Yorm when you know mages are busted. That's crazy. This Rama's afraid to auto people. He's kind of like the Mercury was last game, where that Mercury would run alongside somebody instead of autoing them. This Rama's in range. He walked into that Scylla and doesn't auto him. Or even the Neath. The Neath misses his one and he's in range auto and he just doesn't auto him. Like, look at this. 
you're just letting him react first. Why are you not autoing? A big thing if you want to be better at any game is to have blind fucking confidence. It doesn't have to be you know, warranted confidence. You don't have to earn it. You just have the blind confidence. Oh my gosh, that guy just saved his life and he wasted his all. And now he's dead. <laughs> Bro. What was that Susanna Walt? That was, what is happening? Anyway, back to what I was saying. If you're just over, if you're just confident, you just think you're better than everybody, you'll play better. <clears throat> the second you doubt yourself, you'll play worse, even if you're better than somebody. I'm mind blown, dude, because he had some solid ranked matches. I did not think it would be this bad. Like, imagine if I had thrown him into Elo Hell. Imagine he's playing against people that are five, six hundred MMR higher than this. Like, bro, you are struggling against true gold and plat players. Somebody in this lobby is gold, by the way. And I'm pretty sure I put him on the other team. It was whoever I said to move at the end. Uh -huh. 4 a.m. East Coast boosted MMR. 4 a.m. West Coast boosted MMR. What is this format? I had people sign up for ELO Hell and then I threw them in a lobby of their actual MMR with other players of their actual MMR, not the not the MMR they think they are, their true MMR. So this guy said he was in ELO Hell, said he should be high diamond masters and he's getting farmed by plat players. Like getting absolutely worked in lane by plat players, making really bad positioning decisions. I guess the, the Neath Lil Bari was missing every ability and still ego challenging the Rama and the Rama would just run away. What's this build? Normal ADC build. I don't expect anyone in these games to build stupid because even if it's, you're a lower rated player, the people that are lower rated still watch my stream all the time and they usually know the builds or where to look up builds. He's about to get destroyed in three, two, one. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, wait. Susano cleared the wave instead. I think he's still dead. Oh. Oh, he missed the three. Susano missed three. He's turning finally. He can't do anything. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he beats nothing. Aegis and Ethel. Wasted his Rommel. Dude, they're not even targeting him. He's asking for it. They did fire and he played on the tower line at, right after they did fire. I'm not even trying to be mean with these, but like you're bringing on yourself saying you're real good and then you're not even competing in your actual MMR. Like, honestly, you're kind of a dick for saying your teammates are the reason you're stuck in plat. I'm, I'll be honest with you right now. I'm from this performance. It looks like you're lucky to be in plat. This might be your peak, peak, peak. Oh, Rama's back up. Wait, is Rama dead again? So Rama just spawned, walked out off of his Phoenix line, and died instantly. Oh, this is his main role playing one of his gods like the, the you automate when you do these series like if you're the person that i tell you to join i you get your role you play your main role he's an adc man
The Raijin is huge, dude. He's not gonna die. Hybrid build with a ton of lifesteal and he's massive. All right. What we cook in here, Rama. What are we doing? We're gonna get some levels. We're gonna hit level 20 this game. Said someone's been known to cook with garlic. Garlic's fire. What's wrong with cooking with garlic? I haven't checked damage at all. <laughs> I see why I didn't check damage this game. Woo, baby. Structure damage is zero. <laughs> Check Danny's second player damage stat. Structure damage, everyone's zero. They haven't even been near tower. Oh, yeah, that's a lie. His tower has been hit, but not by him, by the creeps. Why play Rama? Rama's a solid pick in ADC, bro. It's so easy to just W key and buy yourself time. You have to realize in these lower brackets, you go up in the air on Rama and people forget about you. Like you just buy yourself a reset and do damage. Uh, he has not touched an objective. At least he's finally planning to not die. It only took six deaths. Oh no. What are the odds he comes out of this game and he's like, yeah, my teammates. Oh my gosh, he just ulted in front of them. Okay, he got away. Wait, Aegis, Aegis, Aegis. Why me? Just Aegis that. Oh my, he's that. End the game. Where are you guys going? Oh, the Titan. <laughs> the Titan loves the base. This is this might be the worst. This is almost as bad as that Kali that blinked the Hebo who didn't see him and I had to leave the game. You should use mid and jungle. I'm getting used to mouse and key. Uh mid right now, Raijin's the best mid. And then jungle, I'd probably pay like Pele, Arachne, Mercury, Thanatos, Alquang, whatever you whatever you want. I have a tier list up, so you just go look at the tier list and pull one of the gods. Absolute worst. It's all good, bro. I will say you might have lived up to your name. You might have done it. Yeah, the problem is Pele, Arachne, Thanatos banned pretty much every game. Al Kwong banned a lot, Loki banned a lot, that lower rackets. Not I'm not talking about high rackets that all the dudes I coach, that stuff is banned every game. Why are they fighting that? Well, the Titan's still alive. <laughs> Look at this. Will he kill the Titan? They're all dead now. <laughs> right, com comfort picks are fine. It's just as long as they're not complete dog shit picks. If your cover pick is one of the worst gods in the game, then you're just losing your own per like basically losing on purpose at that point. We just ulted instead of here we are okay. This might pain me to see the stats at the end of this game. All right. Uh, we don't have a lot to say. 
the absolute worst. That, that is your that's your name. I'm not calling him the worst, but your performance matched your name today. Uh that was you against other plat players. Those weren't masters players. And they whooped your ass. Like obviously you were the only one at a bad game, but in terms of your lane, you should have stomped that Neath into the ground, bro. Into the ground.